45 and O. Oh. Long play thinking. Because I'll be doing a few short games, but because we're still working towards going to some more more competitions, we want to keep that long play thinking type strategy planning etc in there and but we need to mix in both properly you know the short play and the long play because as we've so seen the long play does affect the game because in a sense of overthinking taking too much time over the moves does let the floodgates of all types of variables that the opponent potentially can do in that situation and we can then inevitably select the wrong manoeuvre because we are not focusing on what is actually happening right here, right now. I'm going to bring the bishop through. So it's a whole relearning of that tiny aspect of the of our game. And I've, as I've always mentioned, if you come away from a tournament or a, a an over the board game learning something, it's got to be better than nothing. For me anyway. So I'm just going to bring the bishop through. Attacking the knight. Let's take in. Let's double the pawn. And let's castle. So as you see. I'm just double the pawn. Straight off. No messing. But in the over the board game. I'd be like. Um and an ah. And thinking. Oh but if I double the pawns. Then it does make it weak. I'm happy with the double pawns. You know when I'm playing these online. I'm, I'm like. I'm happy. It's okay. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good, and we, we know when it's good and when it's not good. In this early part of this game, it is good because it can, it stops this knight from getting active on this side of the board. Now they're looking to push here. We do have many pieces here to um, actually work with. I am tempted to jump here. Computer doesn't like that one. And then just bring the pawn here. That's what I'm tempted to do. So I'm going to go and do it. Whereas over the board, I'd be like, oh, well, if it's sat there, then he's going to have a lot of stronger base coming down here and totally overthinking. And I, then I end up in a position that I'm not used to being in. I'm used to being in these types of positions because at least I understood why I did it, what the pattern looks like. And if the opponent takes advantages of any weaknesses, then at least I can support with my pieces because I know what's actually happening. I'm going to push this pawn here because momentarily they've um, blocked their queen from defending. It's no great shakes. So he's attacking. Bishop's protecting, as we can see. Do we bring the bishop here? He does have elements of this, 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 which would be a bit rubbish really so there's no real point in putting the bishop here if that's going to happen because i don't have anything that can block apart from this pawn pushing here and then the rook would be defending so yeah let's bring this bishop here not too much thinking so what's happening right here right now that's the immediate threat but we can push here Bishop doesn't have any protection on it, but the queen is ready to take. Who's going to be owning the file? Let's see. Again, not overthinking. We, we know this pattern. We know this position. They've got poor majority on this side. We've opened up the center with our rook on purpose, with, with our pawn on purpose. So we're okay with this type of position. It's whether the opponent can take advantage of that. And they were always going to be doing that. But now if we push this, we do lose the pawn. So pushing this way, at least if they do take, we can take here. So it would, okay, so we'll take because we're on his bishop. And we will just move the bishop here. Yes, we do have sights of this, but then that can, can get blocked. It's attacking the rook. Not sure why, because we can come up and attack the pawn. Or we can attack the bishop. Where is he looking to go? Or we could just attack the pawn. 
options and choices, which is best, attacking the pawn, he pushes the pawn down, he's on a white square, so the bishop can't defend it after that point. Is this, oh, do you know? Yeah, but we can't do that just yet. I was just thinking, oh, the bishop could take, because if the rook takes, then we get a back ranker, but the bishop's on us at the minute. So if we go here like this with the idea of taking the pawn and getting the back ranker, that might be a bit fancy, might it? So I think they're going to go back. They're going to realise that that's what's going to happen. I hope they don't. Ooh, almost. So we can take the pawn. And if they take, back rank. And they've realised gutted and the bishop's covering here so he looks like he's coming down for his own back rank now that's a damn shame so we're gonna have to move the king aren't we or we can just move the rook back down again but we're protecting this pawn at the minute so if we yeah, don't want to be on a dark square though do we I want the queen to be in the middle don't we really so if we push this pawn comes down Goes round the back, attacks the pawn. Bishop comes here to attack the bishop. Yep. All right. Let's. Or shall we just bring this here, protecting the pawn as well? That's all a bit of a muchness, really. Let's go here. Don't need to rush because we're 40, 41 minutes. It's attacking the bishop. And we can't do. Oh, no. He's just giving us the back rank. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, lovely, lovely. Shall I look at the analysis on that one? Because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was really nice. I mean, it was nice, but more so because we mentioned the back rank thing and I think they got carried away. Although it's not really sure. Is this eval bar working? Let's go here. It takes, yeah, we go see if there's any major dips to be concerned but we talked through all of what our choices taking the night because we're familiar with the position anyway attacking so we didn't cause ourselves too much trouble with these maneuvers bring the bishop here it's not a fan of that but it's nothing major we talked it through grabbed owning the file Okay, so this is giving them a bit more weight in terms of owning the file, but it's not, it's only not point something. Very drawishy type thing. And it doesn't like the pawn move there. What is it actually saying then? A6. This pawn. What does that do? I just need to, I want to get f familiar with this thinking. Let me see. So A6 do b5 it's actually taking it's not blocking or anything you know it's only 0 point something anyway taking 0.3 okay and then it takes well so i gave them 0 0.7 with us attacking the pawn And it's same move the bishop. Same move the bishop to c7. We captured. That gave them plus three with the capture. Didn't feel like it was a plus situation, but let's just analyze the situation. There. And then they took back. So they I don't think they were supposed to take back with a I think they were supposed to take b6. And then it's saying we should take this, but if we took this, then that's worse, isn't it? Because he takes here, and then he's got a really advanced pass pawn. Interesting. Right, so move order. Move order. Captures. Takes. So the opponent did the incorrect maneuver there by capturing, which is a good thing for us. But if they hadn't a captured, 
and they had taken, then we would have been in trouble. Bear that in mind. Right. This is why we're doing the evaluation. We've got to get these end games down pat. Mm -mm -mm. So it was the movement of the bishop coming back here. So maybe rethink that one. It's saying bishop d6. Yeah, so then we don't put ourselves in that trial and trial and error situation. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, well, you know, they've got these majority here, so maybe we need to act it more as a as a pawn defending these areas, but it makes it worse for ourselves, really, if the opponent plays it correctly, which they didn't, which is fine for us, but we're wanting to improve. We might have mentioned about coming here to attack there or whatever, but uh, yeah, that feels cleaner. That's all right. That's okay. Good. Uh, do we need to do anything else? I think that was the major one, wasn't it, really? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that was the biggest step. Error of the bishop. And then they got a bit greedy. So we got the back ranker. Nice one. Lessons learned. Brilliant. 